All right, Matt, thank you for that. Well, hundreds of new jobs are coming to Hampton Roads. Governor Terry McAuliffe was in Newport News to help make that announcement. Ten in your sights, Brandy Cummings, also there. She's in the newsroom now with details on this multi million dollar expansion. Brandy? Yeah, Chris Laura, this is a significant news for the peninsula. Today, Ferguson Enterprises announced plans to build a new facility, add more than 400 new jobs, and invest $82 million. This was a big deal for the Commonwealth of Virginia. A major announcement Monday morning from a company that's called Virginia Home for more than 60 years. This is a long term commitment. Uh, so we're here. We're here to stay. Ferguson, the largest supplier of residential and commercial plumbing supplies in the U.S., will expand to add a new facility. It'll be in this space at the Newport News City Center. This was an $82.8 million investment decision that took two years to finalize. When you consider this kind of move, you want to make sure you do the right thing, that you're doing the right discovery around what are the options, what are the opportunities. So we, we felt like it was very important. In the end, I think we ended up with the right decision. Several state and local elected officials were there for the news. Newport News Mayor McKinley Price says the new facility will be the cornerstone of city center. It's just uh, it's hard to put into words how, how big this is for us. The Commonwealth beat out several other states for the project. California, Nevada, and some of the other states really worked it aggressively, but Ferguson made the right choice. This headquarters expansion means the 1,000 jobs at Ferguson's existing facility remain, and more than 400 more will be added. This is what you dream about as, as a mayor. These are the days that make the other days less complicated because you know days like today you can be proud of. And the company does expect to start construction next year. The CEO told me it could be two to three years though before they open the new facility. Live in the newsroom, I'm Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side.